Hello and welcome to another developer diary, but this one's a little bit different. The developer diaries before, we've been looking at the train game that I've been working on solo, but the game today is one that I've been working on with two close friends. Two close friends who happen to also be my co-founders, because we are starting a game studio called Free Will Games, and the game I'm showing you today, Heave, is the first title that we are announcing. So Heave is a game for mobile devices, so iOS and Android, so your phones and tablets, and then we may come to other platforms later on. So I'm going to give you a bit of a look at the game now. So let's take a bit of a look. So firstly, we're testing on desktop here. So when we're working on mobile, we're going to be using taps and swipes. That's going to be the controls for working with the game. Whereas when we're testing on desktop, we need a way to be able to actually work with that. So the debug UI that we can see on the left here, that's how we actually operate this when we're working on desktop. Also lets us easily test out and see, okay, what moves are we recognizing are currently valid? So on device, you won't see most of this UI. Instead, you'll be just tapping and swiping. So in terms of what we do in the game, so the game is for mobile, it is a, puzzle-based game and it is turn-based and you control a cube and a cube that has telekinetic powers. So the cube can use these telekinetic powers to push or pull against other objects in the world. Now the key thing here is that telekinesis obeys roughly Newton's third law of motion, which means if you go and push or pull against something that's heavier than you, then you move, not it. If you push and pull against something that's lighter than you, then it will move. So that is something we have to incorporate then into our strategies. So for example, at the moment, we can see that we've got this highlighted cube at the end here, and I could push against it, which isn't gonna get me very far, but in future, there may be some specific reasons why we'd wanna do that. But I can also pull towards it and then that launches me, that heaves me towards it. And we can see now I've got two ones. I could be pushing back against that same one, or I could push against this other one here now. And so I could do that. I've got this little bit of a wall here. So if I push, that actually shatters that wall because we're going to have some walls in this that are destructible, they're crumbling walls. So you can actually uh, destroy them and knock them to pieces. And so because we hit it, we went flying through it. And the downside to that was, well, there's this pit on the other side. So we ended up falling into that pit. So what we have to do is we have to just sort of hop around here. And then we get to this area here where it's pits again, but they're filled with a liquid. And in this case, this is water. And we can see these little symbols here. This is water that can flow. So if I get here and this small block, well, this block's smaller than me, so I expect when I use my powers, it will actually move the block towards me. And so I can do that, and it hops into the water, and then it moves along with the water. And I could go and grab this other block, pull that on top of it, and it will then sit and move along with it. So water is one of the liquids that we're going to have. There are going to be many other liquids uh, that you'll be able to work with and they'll have different properties. So, okay, I can pull the block there and can kind of see, well, if I can get something blocking that, I can probably get to this exit. So, okay, I can bring myself down here. So we've got a couple of these ones just for faster traversal for us. So I can now hurl that block, which means that pit is now safe for me to stand in. So I can then head to the exit. Now this level, there's a lot of stuff that's similar. We've got pits, we've got small blocks, we've got large blocks. We've got that same crumbling wall. We've got something that looks like that crumbling wall, but it's bigger, it's a lot more to it. So if I actually head up here and I hurl this block at it, we can see that it's added a stepping stone to the pit. And this has changed, but it hasn't shrunk to that size. So these crumbling walls can have different levels of health. 
so they can take multiple hits to actually be destroyed. So we can see with this, okay, that did create a little bit of a platform for me there, but that doesn't really help me because I'm now stuck. I can't actually get anywhere. So there's other things that I need to be doing in this to actually solve this. So this is one where, you know, have a look at it and see from the bits we've seen so far, how do you think you'd go about solving it? Uh, I will freely admit this one took me quite a while to work out uh, the solution for. I, I restarted this level many, many, many times. Uh, thankfully, it's very quick and easy to start over again with the levels. Uh, so have a bit of a think about it, see if you can figure out how to approach it. Uh, so this is just a very small subset of the blocks. We've been working on this for a while now, and there are many, 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 many other cool blocks in this that really sort of change and enhance the way that you have to go about approaching it. And this is something that in future developer diaries, we're going to be sharing more stuff about that. We're going to be looking a bit more behind the scenes of how different parts in the game work. And I am so looking forward to people getting their hands on the game and playing it and having them test through these levels, having them get there and manage to find solutions to them. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, for people, it's going to be a lot of fun for us seeing people playing the game. And I'm also really looking forward to us getting to share more of how the stuff is working in the game. Because there's a lot of things that we've developed for this and a lot of aspects to the game that really, really excited about getting to share with folks. And so we're going to be doing that coming up in future. So if you're wanting to keep up to date with the development of Heave, put a link to our social media and our website down below, and I'll also put those in the description. So if you check those out, that's where we'll be posting all of the latest stuff. And there are going to be more developer diaries on their way, because uh, there is so much more cool stuff to be sharing, and just can't wait for folks to be able to be playing it and be seeing the things that they're going to be able to do with this awesome telekinetic block. Uh, but until next time, bye.